Hi hey everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Curious Village. If you recall, we're still down in this little underground path, as the game calls it, after the, you know, that we discovered that we could get into after the Ferris wheel destroyed the, uh, destroyed the one little, uh, barricade that was preventing us from looking down here. And we've done pretty much everything in here, so we need to go this way now. Wow, I certainly didn't expect a room down here. Let's give it a thorough once-over. Something isn't right about this place. I can feel it in my bones. Now, let's see, where do I need to... No, nope, nothing there. Empty drawers... Hmm. Oh yeah, hot, hot, oh, funny, funny, funny. Yeah. There are some hint coins in here, I've just gotta find them. Many paintings, the last thing I wanna touch are the paintings and the... Oh, there's one. There's two. Ordinary tubs, milk jugs... Okay. Here's three. Nothing's. What do you mean nothing to see here? That looks like nothing to see. Gap. Yeah. Okay. There are the four. And we have one last thing to look at. I believe here. Yep. Something's hidden behind here. All right. Let's move the picture out of the way then. What's this here? It appears to be some sort of key. But what does it unlock? We won't know until we investigate further. But this shape certainly looks familiar. Professor, could this be? It looks just like the tower. I knew there was something odd about that dead end. Perhaps this key will shed some light on things. Luke, we need to head back to that large wall on the north side of St. Mystere. I have a hunch that it's more than a dead end. And we now have a full list of mysteries. And thus, Chapter 7 comes to a close. that out of the way. Oh, let's see. I think something in here, did something in here turn into a puzzle? Pretty sure. I think it's one of these paintings. This one? Yes, it is! Perfect. Look at how old this picture is. Oh, right. That reminds me of a good one. Would you like to hear it? Number 91, Pattern Matching, worth 40 points. The large shape below is made up of a pattern. A section of the shape has been removed. Of the options A, B, C, and D, which one should you insert into the large shape to complete the pattern? Okay, so let's see, what's the easiest way to Let's let's start out by figuring out which ones of these won't fit, period. And let's see. A. A, well, A won't fit because it's got the little... It's uh, pointed the wrong way. And so is C. So we're down to B and we're down to D. So, if we rotate D the same way we need to rotate B, then we'll notice that we need exactly one blue piece we need exactly two blue pieces in it between B and D D has too many blue pieces if you notice the blue piece here and the blue piece that would be here all the pieces here would be green crosses all the pieces here would be orange um, orange squares I sound real intelligent there don't I so it's B 
There we go. Another puzzle Sorry, folks. Solved. Just a matter of finding the right matching pattern. Gee, I didn't think it was that easy. Bone China Teacup. Oh, Bone China Town. It's like a latent thing. Okay. So. Now we need to get out of here. And we've already found the hint coins in this area. So. Go to the left. I believe we go up here. Yep, we're back up. We're back top side. And then we just get out of here. And walk back towards the entrance. And we walk down. It's time for... Yeah, let's go investigate that dead end right away. Alright, Luke. But first, let's make a quick stop by the inn. There's something I need to check there. Why the inn, Professor? It seems that someone doesn't want us around, Luke. Someone is, in fact, after us. And the key to identifying this scoundrel is back at the inn. So you already have an idea of who's behind this? Heh <laughs> piqued your interest, have I? Chapter 8, The Shadowy Intruder. Someone's been obstructing the investigation. Find the troublemaker and continue work on the case. No. Getting close to the end of the game. We really are. Oh, well, let's see. Now, we could go straight there. We could do that. But you know what? There's a puzzle, like, right next to us. So, we're going this way first. Right back down the sewer. Meet Mr. Jaw. Again. It's you two lads again. You're a pair of odd ducks coming all this way just to see me. But lucky for you, I've got myself a darling of a puzzle and a mind to share it with you. Number 92, Wash Up, worth 30 points. You need to wash your face, but all 13 valves in the sewer piping are shut tight. You have to open your valves to get the water flowing to your sink. So here's the challenge. Direct the water all the way to your sink by opening as few valves as possible. So in other words, we need to figure out how to get the water from here to here by opening as few of these as you possibly can. Well, let's see. Well, what would be the fastest way coming around? If I remember correctly, if we work backwards, going this way got us the fastest possible one, two, three. Mm, let's see. That's even less than that, isn't it? One. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think I can. If I go there, I open that one, and it'll open up this whole world to me. And this one connects. Okay. That one, and that one. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. Easy enough. 
Now go wash up. Okay. Wonderful work. I was sure that puzzle would floor the both of you, but I guess the joke's on me. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. New puzzle in the index. So now let's go to the end. You know, since we're... Since, you know, we've been in the sewer, we do need to wash up. And we're back here. Okay, I don't want to talk to you guys. You guys don't have anything new for me. To the end. And now we need to talk to you. All over again. Hello, Professor. Is something the matter? You look a little shaken. Beatrice, I have an urgent request. Could you show me the newspapers from the last couple of days? The papers? Certainly. Hang on for just a moment while I go fetch them for you. That's strange. I'm sure I set them down around here somewhere. Is there a problem? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Even today's morning paper seems to have gone missing. Hmm. I see. Well, thank you just the same, Beatrice. This has been most helpful. Just what was in those papers anyway, Professor? Professor Layton! Ramon, and to what do we owe this visit? Oh, he told me I needed to find you and bring you to Reinhold Manor. The inspector, I mean. He and Lady Dahlia await your arrival at Reinhold Manor. Thank you for the message. We will set out for the manor in just a few moments. So, we have our next step. Time to head pretty much straight to the manor. Yeah, that way. And then back this way. you found the key to the tower, haven't you? How do you know about the key? You mustn't interfere with the tower. Whatever you do, just stay away from there. Interfere? What do you mean by that, dear? Tragic ellipses. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead from there. And now, you'll never guess what I can do here. I can click on him to get a puzzle. If it isn't Professor Layton, even though you came and got us and asked us to come here. Judging by your expression, it seems you haven't found the golden apple. You look terribly tense, Professor. Perhaps this small puzzle will help loosen you up. Number 93, over the river, worth 30 points. Help Station Scarfin move the wolf, sheep, and cabbage from one side of the river to the other while obeying the following rules. In addition to its captain, the raft can only support one animal or item at once. When Station Scarfin isn't near, the wolf will eat the sheep, and you'll have to start over. The sheep will eat the cabbage when Station Scarfin isn't around. If you let the sheep have its way, you'll have to start over. You can shuttle the raft back and forth as many times as you like, but the shortest solution takes seven moves. And, of course, we've got to click and drag these things. That's the raft, blah blah blah. Now, the easiest way to start with this is you've got to leave two things on the side that won't eat each other that won't eat each other. The cabbage won't touch the wolf, so we can leave it there. But for now, we take the sheep over. And we leave the sheep there. And go back across. Next, we want to grab the cabbage. I know, we're taking the cabbage to the sheep. This sounds like a bad plan. It is not. We grab sheep. Move over here, grab wolf, go, and you walk back over here, grab the sheep, 
And voila, we have now done it. Every puzzle has an answer. Seven moves. That was masterful, but I expected nothing less from the great Professor Layton. And we found a painting scrap. And joy of joys, that is our final painting scrap. So, pretty soon, maybe in a video or two, maybe next video, it looks like it's time for me to put that painting together. But right now, it's time to cut the video. So, when we come back, I think I will go ahead and mess with that, uh, mess with the painting and I think it might even be time to mess with the yeah it might even be uh, might even be time to look at another little hidden puzzle in there so see y'all next time folks later <laughs>